gently prodding him and there's next to no movement from this spider. Hello and welcome back to Bug Rounds. On this channel we like to discuss all things creepy crawly. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. So folks, if you are enjoying the Huntsman videos so far, make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment me below and let me know how I'm doing here. So today we are doing one that is a Huntsman, but not Heteropoda. Um, it's known as the Fire Huntsman, and you'll see why as we get on to that. Now this one is in fact male, and I know that by the coloration. And it's also one that has barely moved in this tub in the last two hours while I've been filming other things. So I'm hoping that it's okay and we're not going to have a sad video today. I really, really hope so. It was packed well, it had a heat pack in there. The spider, it should be fine. But you never know, especially if it's an adult male, it could well be on its way out. So I really hope it's not going to be a sad video and it jumps to life and scares the hell out of me because that would be pretty cool right so i'm going to actually put the uh, full species name up here because i cannot pronounce it all right so we're going to refer to it as the fire huntsman in this one i don't really like using common names but just to save my tongue and allow me to be able to concentrate on this spider we're going to call it the fire huntsman for today so let's check if this dude is actually doing okay or if we're going to have a sad video Okay, oops, I'm knocking the camera already. Now I've taken out all of the inside of this one because it actually caused me more grief than it was worth. I thought it would be lovely to film, but it's a spider you want to see, not the foliage, right? That's what Camorabi's for when we deal in uh, easier to deal with spiders. So now we're going to try and get out our little fire huntsman that has still not moved. So it's now been a few more hours um since i actually recorded that little intro and it's still not budged so i'm going to use the trick i did last time here by attaching a straw to my tongs because they can be incredibly fast and we are going to see if i can get this one to move this is not looking good is he waking up or has he given up Hmm, you can see here guys, gently prodding him and there's next to no movement from this spider. Oh, he is, he is clinging on though. Especially that leg. Are we going to get movement now? Remember these can bolt at any time. Sorry it's not very focused for you. Trying to do a lifting motion. Lift its booty a bit more. And perhaps we need to take the tissue out of here. Don't try this at home, kids. Try and uh, position this huntsman a bit better. I am quite concerned. There is movement, it is moving its legs. Look, I can practically lift the abdomen. You see? Don't think this is going to be a good sign, ladies and gentlemen. But it is clinging on. It's got the strength to cling on. Is this a defensive thing, perhaps? There's a lot more movement coming. Still not acting like a huntsman. Not for speed.
It's not dehydrated. Oh, oh, we're getting getting some movement now, folks. Sorry about the door in the way there, but this could bolt on me at any moment. Ah, oh, Jesus, you see? Woohoo! Did you see that? Oh, oh, oh my god! From nothing to lightning in a second. Now he's actually in a really awkward place to film. These guys are going to be the death of me. <laughs> he's beautiful though, he is gorgeous. Oh. Right, let me let him. I <laughs> can't even get my words out. Let's get him to go in a bit of a better place. Okay, so after the stress of the last video, I thought, you know what, we'll give the viewing tank this one more go without the foliage. Bada bing, bada bing, bada bing, bada boom. Nothing I can do to move that one. Not at the speed it's going. If I were to open this door and pry it this way, there's no guarantee it will run that way. It will probably run up and round. Um, and again, I do not want to lose it in the realm and you know have it dehydrate here because I can't get to it and I've got very high ceilings. <sighs> this might be the last one now. I've said it last one to do in the viewing tank guys I'm so sorry. Could you imagine if I did it in Kamorabi? Right and no Kamorabi's not finished yet the new one. This is the start of it. Could you imagine if I set it free here? It could go anywhere. This is why I made sure to do it here. Don't leave the door open, Sam. You plonko when you're not looking. Right, let's turn this light off. Bye bye. Yeah. I've now got to play the waiting game again. Hmm. I just, I like this. I like to be able to film, guys. I like to be able to film in here because I can get angles that I can't get inside their own enclosures properly. You can only get very limited visibility inside their enclosures. Having a large empty tank for you to be able to see the spider is what I really would like for you so you can learn about it, you can appreciate it, and if you're a hobbyist, you can look into getting one, or we can discuss breeding. Like There's so many reasons why I want you to be able to enjoy this spider. And uh, we're just gonna keep getting problem after problem. Okay, okay, so I managed to cut this one quite easy. I'm sorry I didn't do it on camera. I just literally put, ooh, careful Sam, put the cup against here, and I've got holes in this cup, and I just put a bit of my straw through, tapped him, and he went into here, and it is a stunning spider. As I said, unfortunately, male, the females of this species are sort of white and black or silver and black, but we can't appreciate it properly with the glare of the cup so i'm just going to put this straight into its enclosure and that's what we're going to do in this series from now on because damn am i using this thing anymore worked once failed twice that's enough for me so i'll show you the setup that i've got for this beautiful fire huntsman and we'll pop him in Ta -da! so this was the home for the mature male venatoria that didn't last we still have the female in an identical enclosure just down here the setup looks different but it's the same uh, custom aquaria enclosure and yeah i'm still struggling to get this sticker off but anyway it doesn't matter so we've got a nice bit of bark very well curved we've got some moss some soil some leaf litter everything that we need there i will pop in a water dish at the end too once it's settled i ain't opening that lid till it's settled so now we have to get that one and that one okay I don't know how well the angling is for you folks there hopefully it's okay or oh, scrapey scrapey so I'll pop you to be able to see the front what I like about custom aquaria is they have nice strong glass solid lids as well we just wipe some dust off of that one in case we need to film through the top just a brief dusting okay so spider time Oh my God, it's gorgeous. It really, really is. I know the lighting isn't on it right now. Right. So, how am I gonna go about this then, Sam? Will the spider go into the cup? All right, he's gone down into the cup. 
I want to put the cup down, but this lid doesn't quite fit inside. Ah, pain, right. My trusty tweezers to bring it down as far as I can. Get the lid ready. Okay, I just need to get him out of the cup now. Do you want to have a quick look at him while he's settled in the cup? So there it is in all of its beauty. Those fire reds. I mean, it's, it's very orange in the bright light that I've put on. But when you don't have this kind of lighting, it is more red than orange. Um, right now, it looks quite like orangutan colour, doesn't it? And this black head. It's kind of a mean looking black head too, which hopefully you'll be able to see better when we get it out of this cup. So I'm going to do that off the camera, guys, because it's just going to be a lot of faffing around and gentle nudging just to get this spider out of there. And then I will show you it in its true beauty. And the cup is out and the spider is in. But unfortunately, it's hidden the head, the one bit I was desperate to show you guys. So now we can just see some legs and some bum. What are you doing? You are not playing ball today. Probably the lighting, but uh, I won't keep the lighting on between shots. I'll turn it off for a little bit and see if this beautiful boy comes out so you can appreciate the true look of him. Wow, here we have it. So in just a matter of a couple of minutes of leaving the light off, you can see it's come out there. So I'm going to take the lid off and be very brave now and show you from the top. So this does have the capability of bolting up before I can get the lid on. But you know what? It can't cause me any harm. As fearful as I am of Huntsman, they are irrational fears, really, in most species cases anyway. So this one likes to be hunched like this. Hopefully it's not on its way out. We know it's got speed. I've checked back at that clip I took and unfortunately you only saw it round to the side. Had I had this camera zoomed out, you'd have realized it was already beneath the door like you saw in the previous shot when it was here. It was actually there the second you saw me close a door in that shot. So I'm gutted you didn't get to see that. But yes. So the only thing left to do for this one is a potential feed. So we'll chuck in a little cricket and hope this one takes it down. I'm not feeling very positive about a takedown. Uh, this spider does spend most of its time being sluggish aside from that, that particular bolt that we had earlier. But let's give it a go and let's see what happens. Don't judge till you try. In fact, down here I have the locust that uh, the David Bowie didn't take to. So if I can left hand grab, it's not a very lively locust. Come on, Sam. Oh. No, he just wants to shy away. Didn't mean to land him on you, I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's, it's uncomfortable with the light, it wants to get away. I think the best thing for me to do is just take out that locust. You are the luckiest locust alive. Quite literally the luckiest locust I've ever known. You have been put in with two awesome huntsman spiders. And neither of them have took you down. Actually on the David Bowie video it did take down a couple of crickets uh, about an hour later. So it doesn't take long for them to settle. So... Guess we better get this guy out and I do not want to cause this spider any more stress so I don't think we're going to bother it anymore and we're going to leave this video here. So if you do want to see what else dwells within the realm ladies and gentlemen make sure to pop back weekly for multiple videos. I know this wasn't the most entertaining of videos but at least you did get an awesome shot of this huntsman. So let's get this locust out and let's get on our way. Ooh, doo, 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 doo. Lucky locust. Come here. Come here. No. Nope. Cannot do it left-handed. I will take it out with my right hand now. <laughs> See you later, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care.
Okay, so we've just skipped to another day, folks. This is a couple of days later, because I didn't get as much footage of the Fire Huntsman as I wanted. But if we have a look here, bring my light closer for you, we can have a proper look at it all stretched out now. I know filming through the glass isn't the best, but there it is in full glory. I'm going to try and take this enclosure out, but I'm freehanding the camera, so I'm going to have to turn it off for a second so I don't drop the enclosure and we'll hopefully have it remain in that position. Let's check it out. Okay, so it's now on the surface with the light on the top. So here is our beautiful little fuzzy red huntsman. I'm gonna bring you around the other side. Oh, I'm tripping on my own stuff here. There is a clear underside shot. Okay, so I've taken the lid off, being brave, so we can have crystal clear image. Is that not wicked or what? The hairs on the legs going whiter as they go down towards the tootsies. And that black face that I just can't quite focus on. Amazing. It's going to hide from the light again now. I'm going to put this spider back guys because I really don't want to cause any stress to the animal but at least we got a chance to admire it right take care everyone and time for my spam outro so that's it for today's video now this outro is actually going to be the same on every single huntsman video in this seven part series why one terrible reason is because i'm outright lazy <laughs> but the main reason is actually because i keep on forgetting to show my patrons love at the end of my video something i've been meaning to do for ages and when i'm recording it just slips my mind so if i use the same outro then every time I'm doing the editing process for these videos, it should drill in my mind that from after this set of videos, I make sure to put the names on the screen. Now, my patrons are a part of a private Facebook group and as a collective, they decided to name themselves and they have chosen to be called the Disciples of the Realm. So if you would like to become a Disciple of the Realm and have your name pop up on the screen like these guys will in a moment, please go into my link in the description below for Patreon. Check out the tiers, check out the rewards you'll get. If you want to further support my channel, all the money goes into the animals, the maintenance of the animals and bettering my equipment. It doesn't go on anything other than the animals and YouTube itself. There are perks and you get to have a lot of inside information about me as well. So here on the screen right now are the lists of my Patreons and alternative supporters. Now alternative supporters pay me differently, but they do so still on a monthly basis. So if you do not like the, to use Patreon, contact me privately and we can arrange a different method for you that suits you to the ground. So that was it, that's the end of this outro. Thanks for watching guys. And please, Sam, remember, <laughs> show your Patreons love in every video. <laughs> Take care guys, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.